Hmm. Here's a file on MLGW experts. I'll need to question them to uncover the facts behind the facts we already have. <laughs> I suppose the best place to start is at the top. I'll call Jerry Collins CEO of MLGW. Mr. Collins, this is Control Special Agent Smart, and I'm investigating smart meters. I'm hoping you can share some facts with me uh, for the public good, of course. Yes, Agent Smart, I'd be glad to help. MLGW's vision is to be the best utility for our customers. As a publicly owned utility, we aim to be the best by providing a quality product at the lowest cost for our ratepayers. In a recent annual survey of 50 utilities in cities across the nation, MLGW customers had the lowest combined residential bill for electricity, natural gas, water, and wastewater than any other utility. Can I quote you on that? Absolutely. Now and in the future, our focus will be on keeping rates and cost as low as possible. The deployment of smart meters will not change our commitment. In fact, smart meters will help keep costs low for everyone. Do you have any facts to back that up? Absolutely, and nothing but the facts. Additionally, customers who use their smart meter data to find ways to spot and fix any energy or water wasting issues will save even more by reducing their monthly consumption. And how does that benefit those who already conserve energy? Unlike for-profit utilities where any cost savings may be paid in dividends to shareholders, at MLGW, cost savings are returned directly to customers, and that's more disposable income for households in Memphis and Shelby County. Mr. Collins, what is this radio frequency rumor all about? Nationally, some small segments of the population have expressed concern about radio frequency, RF, fields used by smart meters for communications. But these concerns are not well-founded. And precisely what are the facts to support that statement? The RF exposures from smart meters are much lower than from many other common household devices, such as cell phones, microwaves, and baby monitors. The smart meters being installed by MLGW comply fully with the RF safety standards adopted by the U.S. government for wireless communication devices. Recent evaluations of the scientific research on RF fields by U.S. regulators and international public health agencies, such as the World Health Organization, have not found any causal link between RF fields and adverse health effects. Now that's a fact. As MLGW studies the operational and customer benefits of smart meters, we continue to monitor industry trends and scientific research to ensure our services remain dependable, low cost, and environmentally conscious. So, to learn more about the relationship between RF exposure and human health, I can take a look at these resources. Well, there certainly are a lot of facts to dispel that rumor. Thank you, Mr. Collins, for clarifying the facts. Thank you for your smart fact-finding. 